Welcome back to Torchlight 2, and uh, this isn't beta anymore, this is actually the, well, it's kind of the live game, this is what they call the press release, um, which is as near as damn it as the full proper game, and we're going to be playing the game with you, and guess what, it's not Voldex who's with me, now who shall I bring with me on Torchlight 2 for the start? Hello anyone out there? Oi oi! Hey cow. Hello everybody, how are you doing? So, uh, I'm sure people have missed you considering we've uh, stopped a little bit of Star Wars, so here you are back with Torchlight 2. Yay, yay, dead excited about this game. I saw you guys play some of the base and I was well jealous about that. It's a very, very good looking game. So, Voldex and we'll be bringing in a fourth member, probably Gem, at a later point. Um, after quite a few episodes, they'll come in when the game's actually released. Um, but for now, it's me and Calaf, just you and me. Uh, me and you even. Me and you, baby. Come on, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Let's hit new game and get right on the action. Okay, let's go. So we've got... Right, a, select class. We've got a choice of four classes here. And we've got the Ember Mage, the Berserker, the Engineer, and the Outlander. Now, in beta, I played, I believe, the Engineer. Um, let me think. Okay. Is there anything that you wanted to play I'm in particular? I haven't even thought about this. I'm actually erring towards the Ember Mage here. A bit caster action. You can uh, uh, quite fun with this. You can dual wield wands. This is fun um, with the Ember Mage. But you can use any weapons of anyone almost. Um, I think I might go with... If you're going very magey, maybe I should go very... melee -y. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go Berserker. And let's just uh, change it to male. And let's dash through some faces. Just, you've already seen me do this, so I'm going to dash through the character creation a bit faster. And Ooh, select a pet. And the character name will be Fire Weaver. And the pets. Yes, we get to choose the pets. And as before, we get the, the panther, the bulldog, the cat, the chikawari, the papillion, and the ferret. Now, you haven't played Torchlight 1, have you? No, no. Torchlight's new on me. I've played all sorts of this sort of game, from Diablo to Titan Quest and various others. But no, never never okay. Torchlight 1. I heard great things about it, though. You will love the pet system. So, we've got a hawk and a wolf on page 2. Um, I can go hawk, I think. And uh, you get two choices of hawks. Uh, I'm going to go the darker one. And a pet name for my hawk. What should I call my hawk? Uh, oh, I'm just going to no it idea. Easy. It's, it's going to be talent. There we go. And difficulty wise, uh, is I'm going to go normal. Because you're a first time player. Yep, and okay, play a game on the internet. In the internet. Play a game on the internet. Now, um, you may have to add me as a friend. Uh, I know what, I'm going to pause recording because this bit's uh, annoying and slow. So give us a while while we sort out our internet connection. Catch you in a bit. Cool, and we're back into the action with our characters dancing with a slash dance. Um, if you uh, watch, you'll see them do the splits like so. Pretty fun. We've got a quest. Oh, check that out. We've got a quest right in front of us, Caleb, so let's go. I think this is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave, but you're on your own. Warn them that the alchemist destroyed Torchlight. We have a new and quest. And headed their way. Excellent. He may be there already. And you can see the quest rewards at the bottom that you can get to choose between. Um, for when we finish it. So let's uh, head on. There's Vanquisher Guards. Act Look. 1. Cool. Oh, uh, loving it. Um, and as before, left click is just an auto attack at the moment. But uh, right click, I'm going to go attack these. It's for me, eviscerate moment. I'm using Magma Spear. Wow, was that a viscera? 
Yeah, it was. He just annihilated. I got a nice crit of the six. Oh, I was. My mana is low. Oh, is it? Are you using your special a lot? Oh, we got definitely. Well, it's no either that or hit with a stick. He's down. Nice. There was a dead Vanquisher guard that I looted from. That was pretty cool. And oh, we've got a champion Sturm Beam. Right now, that's our first champion. We're doing a fair Ooh. whack of damage, but I've got a golden key, which means there's a chest nearby. And even more important, we've got a level up, and this is uh, what I want to cover a lot on this video because this is where the first changes away from the beta have come in. So we'll do the stuff which is boring first, and that's a character panel. I'm doing a strength user, so I'm going to go straight into strength. I had two points in in there, increase my weapon damage a bit, and I'm probably going to go for some vitality because I know how much I'm going to end up tanking. I'm bringing that up to eight. I'm going to get a new skill. I'm going to go for Ice Blast. Cool. Um, well, I'm going to cover the skills now. So you still got three trees as before, but as you can see, it's very, very different from what you saw in Torchlight 1, which is what the beta looked like, was very much like a Torchlight 1 thing, and to what's now in Torchlight 2 Live. So you get like tiers of skills, and we end up having to kind of focus a little bit on what skills we want. We've got at the top, I've got a choice of seven uh, active skills and a passive skill choice at the bottom and three trees to choose from. So let's have a look. So I've got like Frost Breath here, Storm Claw. This looks like a, like a, a magic. Yeah, this is like the magic tree for the warrior, so it's combined with magic. And this one is more like wolf type things. Um, this could be kind of interesting. I could be a wolf type one. And a this, wolf type? Yeah. I'm going to do that actually. This could be interesting with the shadow skills. And I'm going to go straight into shadow burst and take a new ability. And it allows me to transform into a spectral wolf and lunge through my enemies, damaging them as, we, as I heal my own body. As a 25% chance to destroy the shields of any foes, um, uh, but the healing is limited um, to up to two of my targets struck. Inflicts a bunch of weapon damage and 25% chance. So let's do that. That's tier one. Cool. Shadow burst it is. And to equip my new skill, um, I am going to put it on button one actually. So. Oop. So oh, so you can equip skills to buttons as well? Yeah. That's uh, number. By just clicking on the, the skill you want to do. Gotcha. I've only got two skills I can tap through them for the moment. And there's the golden chest. And right in front of us, we can unlock it because I picked up the key. We've got an ice ember Do we share loot in this? No, we each get our own loot. I think a little bit like Diablo. I think I can drop items for you though, if I see something that I think is good for you. Um, I picked up a gem, which I'll go over in a short while, but I've gone on through this over with the beta actually. But for some of the stuff I will come through again. Um, when you're ready, just uh, come back down, Cal. Oh, I found something called an Ember Spark, socketable. Yes, I'm going to cover that in a little while and explain what Oh no! He died. No, no, I just ran into it. I didn't realise I was sort of still looking at it. Oh, okay. Loving the styling of the animation on this. Yeah, compared to Diablo, which obviously this game does get compared to a lot to, is obviously you've got a very cutesy graphics as opposed to... I love my wolf skill by the way, that is fun. Cool. Grab the health potion here. I've got what I was saying, yeah, the art style very different. Um, but it's, it's cool, I like it. And we found as well yes. the, the flow of the game. It doesn't feel as dreary. 
sorry guy. The flow of the game compared to the original uh, to Diablo just feels nice and more random. Go on, you're gonna say about the feel of his skills. It it just um Diablo of course is like uh graphically I suppose in a lot of ways it was more complicated and better in those ways, but I don't know, this doesn't feel it always felt a bit dreary Diablo. And I'm looking forward to the randomness factor of this game. Okay. There are so many things can be different each time you play. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to adjust my volume again, actually. It's the skills and stuff when I'm in combat is a little yeah. high. And I think our audience wants to be just able to hear Just skilled up a bit. Cool, well, actually, so did I. So, uh, bring up my character panel. I want to bring my armor level up, so I'm wondering how high I have to bring it to get it to change. Alright, so not at all. Oh, it does increase, increase my block chance, I see. So let's bring it up to 2% block and then the rest in strength for some extra weapon damage and critical damage. I'm sort of going a couple of points in focus, a couple of points in dexterity and one in vitality. I'll probably concentrate a bit more on focus soon, seeing as I've got a nice little tank with me. Yes. Uh, travel. Business duration, my frenzy state. So right, I'm going to work on my frenzy bar. I'll come into what the frenzy bar, and you've got a special bar as well at the bottom of your screen. But um, when I've worked it out, I'll explain to the audience. I was going to say, I've got no idea what that does. Ah, so we've got a little quest here that's just come up. There's uh, a guy here What's who needs some help, and we can actually grab a reward off him. Um, Physical damage, mana, or a, I'm going to grab the enchanted tag for now. And we got extra fame. I love the staff. Okay, this uh, game's throwing stuff into uh, onto me quite quickly, actually, and uh, we have to explain everything very, <laughs> very fast. I apologise. You a new recruit? Oh, hang on, I've just gone through a loading screen. I'm yes, you did. To. This is the first town, actually, Keller. Oh, cool. So that was the intro area? Yes, it was. And uh, before any of that, I'm actually going to go to my inventory screen. We picked up a bunch of items on the way through. And uh, from a warrior style, I'm actually going to go sword and board. So I picked up a, a nice shield. And I picked up an axe. Which, oh, it's a two-handed axe. Interesting. All right, I'll try and replace that at some point. I do want this shield, though. And then this enchanted tag is only worn by pets. And uh, here's the pet panel. And I'm going to give my pet this. You have pet-only things. You've got a shield if you want it. Uh, I've got quite a nice shield actually, and the other thing I picked up is this Ice Ember Spark. And if I put it in any armour, because it's an Ice Ember Spec, sorry, so I call it Spark Spec. Um, when I put it in armour, it gives me Ice Armour, with protection against Ice Damage. If I put it in a weapon, it gives me Ice Damage. So I'm actually going to put it in my shield so it ends up being Ice Armour, but that's fine. And I'll just hook it in and close that down. Calaf, your pet is not necessarily. What have you got? A dog or a cat? No, a kitty cat. Meow. So your cat doesn't have to be a cat. In fact, you can turn it into anything that you can feed it as such, and it gains new abilities when it does so. This is from Torchlight One. Uh, again, if it's changed since the beta, we're about to find out. But here's a fishing hole here, and we go in, and I'm going to fish. And I get these rings, and when the ring hits the center and glows, which hopefully it will do in a second, uh, reaction speeds, there it goes. And I pick up a, a tunnel shark in this case. And. Oh, I've got a webfish. The. Um, uh, whereabouts do they keep it? So in the second panel under my inventory, where it says consumables, I have a tunnel shark. And it will transform my pet into a mole beast with mole beast abilities and in this case the mole beast can stun your one will be probably a spider with the ability to um, root 
because it will throw yeah. web on stuff. I don't like spiders, that's scary. No, 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 don't come near me. <laughs> I hate spiders. But it's cool. I, I really do, I hate The more you fish, the more extra stuff you can get. You can carry on fishing and get loads and loads of new abilities for your pets. Should we push on with the story? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's just a shame because I've covered a lot of this in the, in our beta playthrough, and I'm covering it again in our. Well, that's fun. I can play around with this plenty of time. I in my thank you for your warning, but it has arrived too late. This alchemist has already come and gone, and it was Hopefully, you can hear the him, from entering the him talking. Yeah. Was many Estellians were injured, and since the confrontation, several more have become ill. We are not sure what is causing it. After his assault failed here, the alchemist carried on southward toward wow. the Temple Steps. Wow, got a new weapon. Commander Vale and her vanquishers arrived a short while later and pursued him, hoping to prevent further damage. So the alchemist is back from Torchlight 1, and uh, the alchemist apparently we're chasing, and is heading towards the Temple Steps, and I can choose a new weapon as you say. Um, is there one-handed here? This looks like it might be, or it's level 4. Yeah, I'm going to guess this is a one-handed sword. And I did say sword and board. So Commander I'll pick Vale that. believes that the alchemist might attack the Wellspring, Wellspring Temple, Temple in an attempt to reach the Guardian of Water. For what nefarious purpose, I am afraid to speculate. There has been no word from either Vale or the Guardian. Oh, I've got your wield wand and knuckle dusters now. And determined nice. that the Guardian of Water is in any danger. Okay, so we gotta to head to the temple and uh, check out on the Guardian of Water. You have received a quest. And we got a new quest. And meanwhile, I am going to increase my sound again a little bit so we can hear the the conversations a bit better. And here we've got a general goods vendor, I am at your service. which we can buy identify scrolls and potions if need be. Uh, poison, lots of resistance stuff. I don't remember that in the beta. That's interesting. And lets you go blast fishing. Yields less total fish per fishing hole than traditional methods. That doesn't work on the town fishing holes. I might pick up... How much is it? 200. You know what? I've never heard of it before. I'm going to... Take it. Dynamite! Test it. Yeah, the dynamite. Because it was... I don't recall it being in beta. So, I'll take it and check it out. Uh, we've got the chess here. Shared stashes between your characters. And just... And your stash is for just this character, I believe. Alright, I see. It's oh. limited space in inventory. Does it get any bigger? Um, I'm not sure. So we've got a target dummy. That I think that's new as well. And this levels with the player, so you can test your damage out. Although no numbers are coming from it, which is interesting. Well and then you've got Theos here, which has random inventory filled with stuff. So any time you feel like, I don't know, a piece of armor or something, hasn't leveled up with the rest of your equipment quick enough, as you've been going through. Um, hello? Sorry. That was loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mesmerizing. <laughs> Something happened with the bar there as well. It was like, wow, all these pretty lights and flashing, and look at it. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, with, uh, the blacksmith I find is best used when you come back from a long dungeon crawl and you found that like you didn't actually find a good piece to replace something that you've had for a while. The, this guy is really good to just like fix up anything which is under leveled. And I've got a waypoint portal here as well. But so we pick up this quest here. We've got the War Beast Armory. Um, apparently we've got two storm uh, sorry, the stern bean of made makeshift smithy, two blacksmiths there. For those who've watched the beta it's the same quest as before. So I'll just stick to it. You have a new quest. Oh we got waypoints as well, cool. Cool. And we're oh, gonna make this crystals, a, a decently long episode, so guys, just, you know, hold on for the ride here. Just get stuck in. Yeah, exactly. I'm moving reasonably fast through because a, new recruit? a lot of the stuff has been covered already. The pass here is pretty straightforward, just follow the road and we'll be fine. 
Oh, it's a mulberry bow there. And a war club. Interesting. When I level up, I've got a new piece of equipment to put in. Uh, oh, chest over here. We can go exploring. So We've got fell so walkers oh. behind us spawning up. Nice. So, from the map, you can do an overlay map as well, I believe. This is the first random area as well that we um, come across. Oh, oh, I've got a mimic chest right. here. Cool. Sorted. Nice, he went down rather quickly. Um, so, my power bar just basically. Oh, go on. Does my power bar then, uh, once it hits full, I actually do more damage, is it? Yeah, so let me read my Berserker bar here. Berserker gains charge by attacking enemies. When it's fully charged, they get into a frenzy state, and all direct attacks results in critical hits, and other attacks have an also increased critical chance. Charge decays after a period of inactivity, so the more that we attack, 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 the more frenzy I get. Yours will have a different ability, though. Yep, just read it. It gives me uh, free spells for the duration. Oh, with no mana And uh, bonus 25% damage. Yeah. Oh, look, we've got a, a random quest here. Greetings. Uh, it's angry and risen from the tombs. The tranquil sensor should calm them once again, but they attacked me, and during the struggle I dropped it. Can you help me get it back? Greetings. Um, okay. I think it's trying to show us... Oh, I got purple there. What the hell was that purple? Just landed in my inventory. Rah. I wonder if that's the stuff that oh, he was asking anything. for. Yeah, look, it was the quest time. It's greetings. That was easy. Yeah, we just picked it up so fast. Uh, I can get a new collar for my pet, which just increases its armor. And I'm going to do that. I don't want the rest. And straight back in. And equip it fast. Yes. Uh, Still haven't leveled up to put that in yet, so I'll wait for that. Cool. Should we head up this way? Right, okay. Okay, this bridge appears to be out. Um, so we'll come straight across Probably way around. Loving the graphic quality here. I just, yeah, it's beautiful. For those who watch I know it's not as sharp as some. Yeah. No, I agree. I love the graphic quality on this. I love the cutesiness and um, yeah, it makes a nice change. And for those who may have already played Diablo to death, this is an excellent game just to. This is definitely, even though it's a lot cheaper and it's available on Steam on uh, the 20th, is it? Yeah, I believe it's Thursday the 20th of August, it uh, becomes available to download, you can pre-order it now for uh, £15, or uh, I'm assuming $20, 20 euros, maybe a little less. And I believe if you pre-order it, you get a copy of Torchlight 1, which is also an excellent, excellent game. Absolutely. Well, I don't know, never played it, but if it's anything like that. I did read an interview about this, uh, where the developers uh, uh, were talking about adding the multiplayer experience in the uh, game. My god, that's a lot of kit. <laughs> nice. See, so, yeah, we were lucky enough to get press copies, so we thought we'd uh, bring this to our viewers as soon as possible. Quite like the lightning. Oh, I can't attack those, they're too far from me. Uh, but we can travel down here, there we go. That brings us back onto it. Onto that one of our quests is up there, doesn't it? Oh, hang on, mobs. Oh, let me come and help you. Ah, so we've got a corrupted crypt here, which is a, uh, like... 
a, a, an optional dungeon and I believe that we did this actually in the beta so let's we'll go and do it anyway you and you will notice this, this area is completely different from the area you saw in beta not because it's been redeveloped it's because every time you play the game and start again everything is brand new um, the boss rooms and some of the You've got some set pieces which stay the same, but most is completely the same. Oh, and it's warning me that I've got unspent stat points and a skill I haven't spent, so I'm going to do that now. I must have dinged and I didn't notice. Um, I'm going to go All right. into I just strength. spent mine uh, bolstering my uh, prismatic bolt a bit. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I'm going to carry on with my shadow burst, I think, and just give that a bit of a boost, not the frenzy. So I haven't really managed to get my frenzy up yet, so... I'm sure that will come later. Awesome. So we can dash through this dungeon, should be easy and easy. Yep. Oh, waypoint's gone. Have some of that. So what skills are you uh, using at the moment? You're still using your initial... I've got... The Eviscerate is still there. I haven't actually re away from that yet. I will do it at some point. Oh, that, was oh, that looked good. But the, the one that I'm dashing through is one of my new, sp uh, new spells. Um, so that's kind of fun. It's kind of chargeability, is it? Yeah, but it, yeah, it makes me look like a wolf as I charge through. But here we go. There's one behind you. There we go. I'm about to hit my uh, ability. Nice. We'll have to watch out for those green circles on the ground because that's poison. Those. Here we go, new time. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, I think we must have missed something somewhere. We haven't found any floor. Yep. So we'll come around here, I guess. Oh, I love the dash move, it's fun. Yeah, it looks quality, mate. I'm just... I'm kind of feeling a bit overwhelmed at the moment. This is great. Oh, uh, it's just... Oh, poison. It's there. kind of Aztec feel to it, this. This dungeon, yeah, it's uh, Egyptian-ish Aztec style. There's acid gel here that's doing a number on me, but I leveled up and got through that. Nice one. Oh, you, um, so you don't quite level up at the same speed? Either. Yeah, so before we dash on, I've discovered a magical item which is unidentified. It means it has magic powers undiscovered. And we can use an identity scroll, if I've hopefully got one in my inventory, I'm sure I do. And identify it, and that's this red thing. And all I have to do is, because I've got three identity things in here, I can just right click it, and I've got a special unique staff called Skull Spire. Requires level 8, increases car speed and oh, so much stuff, but you know what? It's not for me, but it is. Can you see this if I drop this on the ground? I hope so. Can you see it now? No. You can't. Um, interesting. Let's discover the trade screen then. Ah, right. Click on my figure in the top left. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what I've picked up is this bad boy here, and this is totally going to be up your street, I'm sure of it. Jesus Christ, it's got a lot of bonuses, isn't it? It's got, it's for level 8. Have some of that. Um, or, if you've been f just putting stuff in focus, you can use it early. If you've just been pumping stats into focus. What, what focus is required for it? 38, it says. Oh, I'm not sure. But, I mean, you could get that from items, and or whatever, really, so... Um, but I can actually bring this arming sword 
that I've been keeping and actually use that now, so that's good. Um, and I've got a rare ring that I picked up, which is, uh, but I can't use that yet. Okay, fair enough. Cool, let's head on. Oh, there's a secret room! Secret room! Nice! Oh, some monsters are coming alive. Oh, smart. And I leveled up. Get away from the poison quick. There we go. Look at that. All that stuff. Nice. Awesome. I'll dash through those mobs. Really do too much damage to me. That's another slime there. Oh god, there's loads of them. They just like to keep coming back. Yeah, they're un bloody annoying though. <laughs> there we go, cool. There's another way through in a minute. Uh, uh, now, but I like exploring a little bit and take out some of uh, them. Oh, Nice. I'm doing a fair whack of damage, it's quite fun because I can get through these mobs pretty quick. Yeah, it started just fairly uh, fairly easy to begin. I mean, you can increase the difficulty level and perhaps you should have done it fairly seasoned gamers. But, um, I know how hard this gets when it comes to bosses, so I'm not that fussed about setting on normal when it comes to anything else. Um, and a bit like sure. Diablo, once you complete the game, you can come back on a harder level. Um, a bit like what, sir? Diablo, you can come back on a harder level. You've got something called New Game Plus. So you can start a brand new game with your character. Holy shit! Um, What's that? I'm a kiting, sir! Oh, God, you found a champion level mark. I don't know what the fuck it is! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Help! You're just talking there willy nilly about the game and Mr. New Boy here's been attacked by the purple. Okay, I've got him, but he does teleport, so it makes him pretty hard to keep on. You're doing fine, Carl. He's at that. so scary. Nice. Love the champion level mobs. Yeah, that was pretty uh pretty harsh. <laughs> Okay, looks like our uh, quest location is down through here, the Fallen Guardian. Let's see. Oh, I said... Oh, oh right, so move. that... I've, before we dash Why off, I've got skill points and skills to do. Cause I keep forgetting about these, so... See, I'm going to say I'm going to be quite tanky. So even though I am adding strength, I'm also focusing a lot on my vitality to get my armor levels up. I know that when we add... Uh, Voldex and Jim in later, then they're going to want someone who's a little bit tankier. Yeah, I'd, I'd think so. And I'll carry on with Shadow Burst because I'm loving that. Okay. What sarcophagus with an ice amulet? In a minute, my inventory is going to get full, and I have to send my pet out to sell my junk. Oh, there's a portal to the surface, but I don't think we're ready to take it yet. So, I believe we haven't actually completed what we came here for. No, not quite. Oh, there's a fallen guardian right in front of me. Orange level one. Half he looks nice. Whoa! He's not doing that much damage to me, thankfully, but... Cool, and we got the, pu the purple items that appears to be quest items. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, there is a, down. Yeah, there probably is. So let's go check out the loot. I'm gonna dash through here. 
I found a purple level of mob champion under there. Uh, cool. Yeah, I just hit a heal. Right? And we get fame, I which I'm not sure what fame gives us exactly, but we'll find out soon. I think okay. fame might change the level of the stuff that's in the shop. But it could be wrong. If you know what fame does, just let me know. I didn't play much of the beta. Mostly because Diablo 3 was fame? Like yeah, every time we kill a champion level mob, we get fame. And yeah, my inventory is filled, absolutely rammed with junk. I'm going to equip one of these rings. There's a poison ring there. Okay, this I'm is having a minor problems at the moment, but I am abusing it a bit. Oh, okay. Uh, new legs, vitality attribute. So I'll just go through my inventory, see what's in there, and see if I've got any decent upgrades. Um, this one converts physical converts 15 damage over 5 seconds, or increase the crit chance and attack speed. Um, I'm going to go for the crit one instead of the one I'm currently using. Okay, that'll do. And I'm going to show a, a mechanic here. So all these greys are a pile of rubbish, really. So I'm giving them to my pet. And... Because they're just filling my inventory with crap, basically. And there is a button here that says Send Pet to Town. Your pet has departed. And he will disappear for the next 50 seconds. And he'll go and sell all my junk. Are you doing the same, Cal? Will he? Hang on, I go to my pet, yep. And I go to... Uh, no, lost. Um, so you move your items from your, your... If you go to your normal equipment panel up and have your pet panel up and then just shift click on the items, it will jump panels to the pet panel. And then at the bottom of the pet panel, You'll see, let me come up here, uh, you'll see a... a oh yes, I see. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll start here. And I leveled up at some point, so I'm just going to carry on with the Shadow Burst, I Your think. Pet returns. Once it gets to rank 2, I can... You get different bonuses and the, the ability changes, which is nice. And whilst we were talking there, my pet came back with my money. So that was awesome. Sweet. That's going to make life a lot easier. Yeah, I'm going to take this, oh, this sarcophagus there, and then I'm going to take the portal up. Like so. That's a bit late on my spell there. Oh, so well, the load we... times are pretty quick. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, hmm. This is a lot better than the one I've got on my pet, so I'm going to take the pet tag again. Get an extra 255 fame. And... Oh, that looks like a better armor here as well. 7 electric armor, plus 1 strength. Yeah, let's go with that. The strength bonus. And on my pet panel, I'm going to give him a new dog tag. Oh, I can wear two tags. Even better. Hells yeah. Yep, I went for the pet item as well there. State your business. Okay. You made it. I believe that's where we're heading next, actually, up there. This is a level 6 to 8 area coming up. We protect the Guardian and the War Priest Armory. So, I believe that's actually pretty all good right. for the end of the first episode. And um, just all this week, we'll probably be throwing up more and more episodes of this. And they'll be a bit longer than our average videos. But uh, join us next time for more Torchlight 2 when we're heading into the temple itself and probably awaking the, uh, the boss.
for, for the next episode. So yeah, join us then from me and Cal. See you later. See you later.